everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. I take the table dynamics and I relate those to our everyday lives. Y'all know what we got to talk about. (laughs) I was at home watching the show this morning. Our joy, our joy. So come on in here. Let's chat. Come on. of wine. It takes a glass of wine to get in the chair. Yeah. No, you're all right. Drink Let, you're fine, yeah? I just missed the step as usual. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that's our show today. Thank you. Yeah. And of course, like I said in the, in the introduction, if you were like me and you were at home watching the show this morning live, or if you recorded it in some way and you watched it back on television, you saw, like I saw exactly what happened there. And y'all, I will tell you, I am worried about joy. And I guess this is still my, my, my investigative interviewer inside of me. You know, joy asked whoop, excuse me, whoopee asked joy that I can recall at least three separate times. Are you okay? This is when they were sitting back at the table. And we all know that, um, I think it's joy's, uh, left ear joy, uh, has almost no hearing in, it's one of her ears. I think it's her left or right. And for those of you who don't know, where I got that information was a few months ago, Derek Monroe, who's the lead hairstylist for The View, he's an award-winning hairstylist, by the way. He has a YouTube channel. Shout out to Derek Monroe's YouTube channel. And um, he interviewed Joy and she told him that she can't, she can barely hear in one of those ears. I do believe it was the left ear she pointed to. But at any rate, so Um, When Whoopi specifically asked her, are you okay? Joy was looking at her. So, you know, even if let's say she per se didn't hear her, um, she definitely could read her lips. And again, that's three times. Joy totally avoided answering that question. She just made light of it and joked, you know, that Steve, you know, as we heard there, her husband is laughing and all of that. And, you know, and I'm like, okay, why didn't she just say, yes, I'm okay. Um, So I got guys, I'm worried. I mean, because those chairs are high. And she fell literally from that height and, and hit the floor. Now, those of you who've been in the studio, I've never been in the studio before. I hope to go um, when I go to New York this year. Um, but I will tell you, I don't know what the studio floor is made of, the part where the ladies are. I don't know what that material is. Some of you can maybe enlighten us. And so I'm just like, whatever it was, I'm, I'm hoping that she, I, I'm sure she's all bruised up guys because she literally hit that thing. And so anyway, so, but what I loved about this morning was, was two things. First of all, I loved how, um, you know, Sarah was standing right next to her, but how, jo- uh, excuse me, Whoopi and Sunny went over and helped her and you could look at their faces, right y'all and see that they were genuinely concerned about joy. I love seeing that because, you know, for all of the foo la la that happens on our show. One of the things that we can say about this particular group, which would include Anna, is that they truly are friends in real life. And, you know, they cover for each other. They have each other's back. They're there for each other. I love this particular group. I think, you know, because people very often have asked me, what's my favorite group out of all the different, you know, variations we've had? I really think this is my favorite group mostly because I'm in the age range of most of them, you know, of Sunny and, and Anna. And so I, I guess I just kind of relate to them. And Joy was a school teacher. So I relate to Joy because I was a school teacher at one time. And, um, you know, all of them, this particular group, every single one of them worked their way up to everything they had in life. They didn't marry somebody and get rich, marry a rich guy. I mean, when, when, um, 
when, uh, what, what am I trying to say? When Sonny married um, Manny, he was broke. <laughs> you know, he was broke and she was too. And they were both paying back their student loans. And, and so, um, you know, but they worked for everything they have and all of them have their own financial empire, their own real estate empire. Uh, Sunny collects art. She also has a restaurant. They all did that on their own with their money. And I just admire, you know, uh, strong women who are uh, beautiful and who are classy and who really worked for what they had and, and beat the odds. You know what I'm saying? And so anyway, so I guess because this is my favorite group, because I personally relate to each of them in some way, actually in multiple ways. And so um, I just love this group. And so the next thing I loved about today <laughs> was, you know, once again, we saw Aunt Joy come out, you know, Joy making sure everyone else is laughing, Joy being concerned about everyone else, you know, Joy with that useful spirit. But you know what, guys, I, I had to remind myself, even though Joy was laughing and she was so jovial this morning, all throughout the show, actually, um, she is 79. And listen, to fall really at any age is dangerous. But the older we get, we all know, it, especially for us as women, there, I don't know, Joy says she's healthy, so I don't think she has osteoporosis or anything like that. But, you know, it's just dangerous. Listen, guys, one time I, I used to live in an apartment complex and I had bought these new shoes and I thought I was looking cute, chow. And they were like the um, wedge heels, but they had, you know, I had like a, a strap on them. <laughs> I fell so hard. Both of my shoes came off. Okay. And thank God I was okay. But, you know, I just, just kind of laid there for a minute because I was in such shock that I'd actually fallen. But, you know, um, I was sore the next day. I mean, and I was very young back then. <laughs> so younger than I am now, I should say. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I was just like, I hope Joy is really okay because it just stood out to me that she never answered Whoopi's question. And I know it wasn't because she didn't hear her. Um, and so I'm, I'm just hoping she's going to be there tomorrow, guys. My fingers are crossed. Um, and also, I'm, I'm really hoping that you know, if she is, she, I, I mean, of course, she's going to be bruised up. I'm hoping that she's okay, though. Because guys, listen, do you guys not know this? I don't know how you guys felt who saw this. But, you know, we do know that Joy is supposed to be retiring this summer, August 2022. And I don't know, just seeing her on the floor, I just was like, oh, my God, if something ever happened to Joy, you know, as a viewer, what am I going to do? I mean, I've been watching this woman on television for so many years. And, you know, you, even though we don't know Joy, we kind of feel like we do. And uh, one of the things I, I, I loved is that when that guy yelled out, Joy, we love you, because we do love Joy. You know, Joy's not perfect, but guess what? Neither are you and neither am I. And so, but we love her on this show. You know, she really is the lightheartedness at, in this particular group of women. And so along with Sarah, of course. And so, yeah. So guys, listen, those of you who saw the show in real time, what was your first reaction? Did any of you actually like run over to your TV? You know, that reflex reaction, like you see somebody fall and you just rush towards them. Uh, did any of you do that? And let me ask you guys this. What, what did you think um, about it all? You know, um, I don't like to blow off when people fall um, because like she pointed out, on the show today, she was talking about Bob Saget. Falls are very, very dangerous, okay, at any age. But again, Joy is 79. And um, yeah, she has 79-year-old bones, you know. <laughs> so yeah, so guys, I, that's all I wanted to share. I just wanted to come on and connect with y'all and, and find out how what you guys were thinking. Are any of you like me or any of you like seriously worried about Joy? Um, or are you kind of like, hey, it's not a big deal. She said she was okay and she was able to make it through the show. Um, just let me know in the comments. Let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, by the way, I, I made myself a note so I wouldn't forget. I have seen several of you, several of you, excuse me, asking me my thoughts about Michelle Tafoya this week and also about the disagreement that Sonny and uh, Anna had. For those of you who are new, because I, I, I suppose these are new people, because most of my regulars kind of know my kind of how I run the channel. Um, for all my new people, I'm actually going to come talk to you about those things next week. Those will be, the, will be the podcast you get next week. Because what I do is like the podcast, all the podcasts you've gotten this week, I actually made those days and days and days ago when I was off work. So that's kind of how I do it. Um, so when I'm off again this week, I'll be making podcasts for you next week. Okay. And so I will be talking about Michelle Tafoya. I'm not going to review her. I, that's not what I want to talk to you about. 
um, we're going to talk about some other things that happened during her two days. And also we're, we're going to talk about, you know, Sarah and Anna, and we're going to talk about a few other things. Um, they had that, that conversation. Was it yesterday? Y'all's about perfectionism. <gasps> oh, I was just like, I, I, that was the most honest conversation. One of the most honest conversations that they have had. And Michelle, you know, chimed in on it too and talked about her struggles with her weight and her being, did she say bulimic? Did she say she had bulimia or was she, was it anorexia? Which one was it y'all? I can't remember, but anyway, she didn't have it now, but she just talked about how she still struggles with the thoughts of, you know, all that. So we're going to get into all of that because they've had some really, really good conversations this week. So for all my new people, thank you for being here, but that's kind of how I have to do it because I have a real job job. And this is really just a hobby, even though you would think it's a job for me, it really is just a hobby. So I have to kind of do it in a way. And for some of you who've asked, like, why do I cut comments off on various podcasts? You know, I know some people, uh, like one lady, I think this was some time ago, she was like, oh, I I know you don't want to deal with controversy. So you cut your comments off, you know, guys, you know, that just reminded me how often we all assume, you know, we, this woman doesn't know me. She doesn't know anything about my real life yet. She assumed that's why I cut my comments off. I, I, I actually was very shocked by that because we don't talk about anything controversial over here. We don't even talk about the politics of the women. I stay away from that because politics is too controversial and it just divides people. It doesn't bring people together. And I want to have conversations that bring us together. But um, for those of you who don't know, I'm the only one that manages the channel. And for those of you who don't know, YouTube actually holds the YouTuber uh, accountable for what happens in their comment section. And as you can see, if you go down my podcast list, a lot of my podcasts have 30,000, 50,000 views. And this is all in a week, several of these, 10,000, 15,000, 14,000 views. And all those comments in a week can come up to four or 500 comments. And most of those are held by the YouTube algorithm because of something that the pe people said. Maybe it was a curse word because y'all know YouTube is against curse words now, in case you didn't know that. Uh, with the content creators, which I'm not a, you know, I don't be cussing on here, but uh, they came out with some updated uh, community guidelines last year saying if you excessively curse, they will flag you and delete your channel. Also, if you see a bunch of cursing or emojis in the comment section. So it's all kinds of crazy stuff. And even though I said I wasn't going to go over there and try to move some of those to the main comment section, I still find myself doing it because I've done it for so many years. So sometimes I just get overwhelmed because it's just me doing all of this. And there's no way that I'm going to be held responsible for, you know, what, Although I love y'all, strangers are saying, you know, so I have to sometimes say, okay, I've got a hundred comments to look at. I can't look at any more. I'm just like tapped out. So I've got to cut the comments off on this one because I don't have the time guys to, to go through. And I like to interact with you guys too. I like to go and read your comment and respond or heart or thumbs up, or yes, I thumbs down comments too, you know? And so I like to do that in order for me to do that. I have to have it in a way that is manageable to me. Maybe if this channel grows to where I have a hundred thousand subscribers or whatever, maybe, you know, I can get a family member to help me. But right now it's just little old me doing all of this. And so I have to just manage it guys. And you know what? I'm not here to please anybody. My whole thing is I hope you just come enjoy the content. If the comments are closed, just thumbs up and thumbs down. Use the icons. That's what they're there for anyway. And just let's just all keep it moving. But I would hope no one would be, you know, complaining about something as if they're the one having to do all the work. It just, I don't, I don't think that should happen. So anyway, so that's the skinny on all of that. Okay, guys, I got to get out of here because I am making falafels. I bought an air fryer mm -hmm, and I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to try it out <laughs> for dinner tonight. See, I hope I don't burn the thing up, but we shall see. So all of you have air fryers. Tell me how you're liking it. I've already decided if I don't like like the way this food tastes out of this thing, I'm just going to clean it and return it because I kept the receipt. <laughs> so guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, how do you guys feel about joy falling? I mean, my God, we've been watching the show since 1997. No one's that I can remember has fallen out of their chair or maybe they have. I just don't remember, but I know joy has never fallen. You know, Sunny said, by the way, for those who didn't hear all the show, Sunny said this has happened to all of us at some point. So I'm like, okay, she couldn't have been talking about it on camera. It must be 
Maybe they've fallen, maybe, you know, doing the promos or something like that. I don't know. But this was really a shock to me. And again, I really hope our, our beloved Joy is okay. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, this is My View on the View, a podcast all about ABC's The View. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my...